Hey guys, Carlos from realteesfishing.com. Today we have a real quick video to solve an issue that causes major headache, and that is a leaky thermostat. So most of the time we've gone ahead and replaced the thermostat, we did a maintenance, maybe we didn't have to do it, maybe we did put everything back together and we have a really bad leak, or maybe just a little weeping leak, and we can't get it to stop no matter how hard we try to tighten the bolts. Now. Tightening the bolts down even harder is not the right thing to do because you will squish your gasket to the point where it'll fail. I'm gonna teach you guys exactly what you need to do to make it stop leaking. And all you really need is a fine sanding block from Home Depot. These things are like a dollar. Check it out. All right, so we hook it back up to the hose and we notice a leak. Now, most of the time, you're gonna wanna keep tightening it. But the bad thing about tightening bolts, especially on something that constantly gets hotter and hotter and hotter and cools down and gets hot again and cools down and gets hot again is that it weakens the bolts. And possibly two years from now when you go to take it off, you're gonna snap a bolt inside the block. Not good. So instead of tightening it down, let's go ahead and remove it. Remove this. Hopefully when you put in the new thermostat, you put in a new gasket. That's number one. If you have a leak, get a new gasket. If you're already using a new gasket, then we move on to this method. So we've gone ahead and cleaned out this part. But as you see, there's old residue from the old gasket. These allow water to bypass. Remember, this is under a little bit of water pressure. So we're gonna get the block. Nothing crazy. We're just nice and smooth, nice and even. We are trying to eliminate as much of that residue as possible. Sometimes it's not residue, it's corrosion. You have a lot of corrosion on your pieces and, it's make, and it makes it uh, some pitting in the aluminum and you're gonna wanna sand some of that off. You gotta just make sure everything is nice and smooth. No more pieces of the gasket. It looks good to me. Let's go ahead and move on to the actual block itself. All right, so the block itself or the housing for the thermostat. We went ahead and cleaned it out with a wire brush. It's looking pretty good for a saltwater engine. This engine is a 1988. So it's looking pretty good for being about 32 years old. But we're gonna go ahead and take the block to it. Same thing, we're gonna go even strokes. Basically, we just want to We're not trying to take off any of the aluminum. We just want to sand down salt deposits, parts of the gasket that might've stayed behind, uh, some, some of the pitting. That's all we really wanna do here. Basically, we're just making a smooth surface so the gasket, once it's pressed on, will do its job. That's it, very simple. And now check her out she's looking pretty clean she's looking smooth of course this bad boy has some years on her so she's not gonna be like if she was brand new but you can see what we're trying to achieve here a nice finished surface for the gasket okay so we have her hooked up to the hose we are going to go ahead and let's clean this up. And we're gonna inspect it for leaks. No leaks, perfect. 